Hey, you! Yes, you tell me, sweet little boy. Yes, you. I know you have Liz, and I want you to release her. Liz? I think you're confused, boy. <laughs> no, I know it's you. I saw her in the trunk of your dirty van. And if you don't release it, I'm gonna fry your brain with this shotgun that I made myself. <laughs> Do you really think I know who you're talking about, huh? I don't remember the names of all the children I captured, you idiot! Stupid boy! You have the guts to face me, huh? But you're not fat enough to be useful to me, huh? Wait a second. There's an easy solution to that. Open up and say, ah! Perfect landing. <laughs> Done. Oh, it's very tasty ice cream. I don't know why you did this, but... I'm gonna exterminate you anyway. Oh, what's happening to me? What is this? Oh, oh. oh, hello, chubby boy. Now you're chump and clubby just like I like it. <laughs> Huh?
Jay, it's you? What happened the other day? How do you think of jumping with the van running? How? So that was what Charlie wanted to tell me? Where is he? I, I mean, is he okay? Yes, in the end, I managed to jump at one of the stops. Are the others okay? <gasps> oh! We have to do something. Okay, I'll follow you. <laughs> Rod, do you live here? Rod, are you at home? You have to go back to her. You still don't understand, please. You have to come back. Oh, this has an explanation, Rod. Rod! Well, in that case, I'll leave this to you. It has been written by your own mother.
Huh? Oh, my eyes fool me, I'm sure. Uh, is he healthy? I, I don't understand. How is this possible? Oh, my God. Oh, look at him. No, it can't be. Is this true? How could this be? This baby seems to have been born. I, I don't understand. Oh, so it's true. It is a miracle. A miracle. <laughs> huh?
Jay? Is that you? What happened? How, how did Rod capture Liz? That's crazy. What are you talking about? Leave me alone. Jay, is that you? What happened? How, how did Rod capture Liz? I'm not afraid of that stupid ice cream maker. How did you not tell me that Rod had my sister? Are we not friends anymore? No way! You and I are not friends anymore. Jay? Is that you? What happened? H how did Rod capture Liz? That's crazy! What are you talking about? Leave me alone! Jay? Is that you? What happened? How did Rod capture Liz? I'm not afraid of that stupid ice cream maker. How did you not tell me that Rod had my sister? Are we not friends anymore? No way! You and I are not friends anymore. Jay? Is that you? What happened? How did Rod capture Liz? That's crazy. What are you talking about? Leave me Jay, is that you? What happened? How, how did Rod capture Liz? I'm not afraid of that stupid ice cream maker. How did you not tell me that Rod had my sister? Are we not friends anymore? Looks like you didn't do very well. Next time, be sure to keep me in mind. Remember that I am the bravest of the four. Well, yes. <clears throat> uh, what can I do for you? Yeah, let's go.
Congratulations, Rod, for your fifteenth birthday. Be strong. We heard about the death of Joseph Sullivan. I wish I could be with you right now, but the Lord requires me here a little more. Congratulations, Rod, for your sixteenth birthday. Even though I can't come to you, you can visit me whenever you want. Don't resent me for not seeing you. If you knew why, I can't go see you. Congratulations, Rod, for your seventeenth birthday. Please, come see me, I ask you. Congratulations, Rod, for your eighteenth birthday. Congratulations, Rod, for your nineteenth birthday. For your twentieth birthday. Twenty-first birthday. Twenty-second birthday. Twenty-third birthday. Twenty-fourth birthday. Congratulations, Rod, for your twenty-fifth birthday. This will be the last time I write to you. It seems that nothing I say is enough for you to come back to me. Even so, I never stop dreaming of the day you and I meet again. We have so much to talk about. I want to hug you like when you were four years old and you were with me. Keep the book I give you as your most precious asset, for I will reveal a secret that only Joseph Sullivan knew. He stole it from me, but... Now I give it to you. Thanks to the fact that more time has passed, I have been able to improve the formula. You are my son, and you deserve it all. I will give you the opportunity to synthesize an extraordinary chemical compound with equal force to create a sparkling sun of life or a moon full of death. Warmly, your mother who will always be with you. Sister Madeline, S.M. Going to count the kids today. I'm looking for the chump puppy one. Going to find some chubby kids and we're gonna make some ice cream fun. <laughs>
Going to kill some kids today. I'm looking for the chump clubby ones. I'm going to find me some chubby kids and we're gonna make some ice cream fun. <laughs> Anybody watching? Thank you. 